there. All right. Let's start standing up with a big breath in and exhale. Deep breath up, stretch as high as you can and exhale. And one more time, big breath up, exhale, reach it tall and then just lean side to side. Up and press down, roll your shoulders back and forward and then shrug them up and down. Take your feet out about shoulder width apart, maybe a tiny bit wider than your shoulders. And as you shrug up, come on your toes. Up and down, up and down. Four, three, two, and one. Bring it back down, march it out, pump those arms. Nice and strong through your core, lift it up and in. Take your feet out wide. And bring them back. Take your feet out wide. And leave them out there. Let's tap side to side, reaching your arm across, rotating through that thoracic spine. Reach, reach, reach. Now reach it up and across. Four, three, two. Both hands from your shoulders reach front and take your heels front. Push them, push them. That's it, just like that. Reach it out there. And then take your hands, push down and lift your knees. Pull it back, hamstring curls. That's it. Four, three, two, back to the march. All right, let's scooch over a little bit and step touch. Four, three, two, and one. Now slow it down, slow, slow. We step touch and hold a beat, get your balance. Four, three, two, one. March it out. Take a deep breath up. Exhale all the way down. Roll those shoulders back. Take a deep breath in. And then drop your arms right in front, tapping your opposite elbows. Fingers touch opposite elbows, shoulders down low like that genie. And then we're going to lift up our knee up and down, up and down. Slow, so it's got the balance piece to it. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Now with this slow knee, instead of up and down, go up and out, up and out. Shoulders push down low. One more on each side. And drop it down, shake it out. Hands come back behind you, lace them right there by your hips. Roll your shoulders back and lift. And bring it down, hands on your hips. Feet at about hip distance apart, straight leg goes out and down, out and down. Same thing here, we're not going quick, we're going slow to add that balance piece to it. Four, three, 
four, three, two, one. Now straight back. Let's lift our elbows back behind us a little bit, hands right by your hips, and kick back, kick back, kick back. We're gonna do some tricep presses today in the workout, and we're gonna add them to a bicep curl. We're gonna do a bicep curl plus a tricep kickback. With that tricep kickback, your elbow's a little bit higher in the back like this. Push, push, one more each side, push and push, take it down. So let's just practice that before we get to it. So typically with a bicep curl, we tuck our elbows into our ribs and they're pointing straight down. Today we're gonna slide them back just a little bit and we're gonna curl forward and then press back. We're gonna curl forward and then press back. So our elbows are a little bit back here instead of the traditional bicep right here. We want to have a little bit back here so that we can get a tricep workout, working bottom and top at the same time. All right, so our workout today is 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. So we're going to do three rounds, two exercises, supersets. Upper and lower, upper and lower, upper and lower, then we're going to move on to two more exercises and then two more exercises. Okay, this is really weird, the Zoom Sometime on my iPad when I do things like this, it says, do you want to raise your hand? I don't know why. I guess in the meeting, I want to talk. I don't know. Weird. All right, so our first exercise is a chair stand. We're going to sit in our chair. Not just a typical chair stand. It's going to be an open up to the side and stand up chair stand. But before we do that, a chair stand is basically a squat, right? Squat. It's a perfect squat because we're sitting with our, um, we're already sitting with our hips back here. We can't sit this low, right? It's hard to sit this low when we're standing up because our chest falls forward, right? So we're going to sit in our chair, nice tall chest. I want you to take that right leg, open it up, and then stand up. Sit back down, bring it in, up and over. So pretend that your feet are, there's logs outside your feet. You've got to bring them up and over that log and stand up. Now, we're doing this for time, not reps. So I want you to go as fast as you feel like you can, 40 seconds, right? We've got about 20 seconds left. So we'll rest 20 seconds and go to the next exercise, which is an upper body exercise. So these legs get to rest a long time. Rest. All right, come on up and grab your weights. Here's where we're gonna do that bicep-tricep combo. So we're gonna take our elbows, place them back just a little bit, just an inch or two back behind your rib cage. Instead of traditionally, we're gonna push them right back there. Shoulders nice and low, elbows back just a little bit. All right, let's curl it up and then press it back. Curl it up and press it back. So we're just taking a little pause at the hip and kicking back. A little pause and curling. Kick and curl. Kick and curl. 20 seconds, maybe you can pump up the speed a little bit, right? Get that intensity a little bit higher because after this we rest 20 and then we go to lower body. Five seconds, rest, beautiful. I want you to take one weight to the floor this time only. We're gonna do our chair stands with one weight. It just makes our body weigh that much more, makes our legs work that much harder while we're doing our same thing. Step out and open in five seconds. Hold that weight right at your chest and go, push. Up and over that log. Whew. 
20 seconds. Five seconds. Rest. Whew. And grab your second weight. We're going to do biceps, triceps again. Now, upping the intensity in this means going a little bit faster, maybe means bigger weights. Lowering it means dropping your weights altogether, maybe dropping to a lower weight or going a little slower. Shoulders low in three seconds, elbows back behind you and go. Curl and press. Curl and press. Ten seconds. Rest. All right, back to our chair stands. Your option is no weight, that one weight here, or two of them on your shoulders. All right, that's going to make it that much harder. Our body's going to weigh that much more. So you choose what you're going to do for this third round. And go. Up. And up. Twenty seconds. Maybe you can pick up the pace a little bit. Whoo. Last ten seconds. Rest. Whoo. Uh, all right. One more time for the bicep curls, and then this superset is done. We've got 40 seconds left of biceps, triceps. Maybe you can adjust your weight. If you feel like you can get through this no problem, maybe speed it up a little bit. Elbows up and back just a tiny bit. And go. Curl. Press. Curl. Press. Fifteen seconds. Last five. Rest. Whew. Uh, put your weights down. Grab a drink. Great job. All right, remember with these time circuits, when we do 40 seconds or 30 seconds, whatever we're doing, you need to go at your own pace. We're not trying to get in eight or 10 reps. We're trying to get in whatever you can do. Today, that might be, you might have all the energy in the world. You may be going faster. Might be a rough day for you, so you may be going slower, but you want to go at your own pace and make sure that after we get through three reps, that that was hard, or three rounds, that that was hard. All right, circuit two is single-sided. So we're going to do one leg, then one arm, and then the other leg and the other arm. We're going to try to get through that three times. So the first exercise, before we do it, let me show you. We're going to stand maybe with your um, one hand. How about your left hand is on the chair, your right leg goes back into a lunge. Lift it and squeeze it. Come back into that lunge. We're going to lift it and squeeze it come back into that lunge. Same leg the whole time. If you don't hold on, hands on your hips, that's great. If you need a little support, maybe one or two fingers on the chair. Second exercise, we're going to lean into that chair and we're just going to row, single arm row, bent over, but I want you leaning into the chair and pulling. So, first lower body exercise, we're not going to use any weight for. I want you to stand right by your chair. One hand is on the chair to start. 
outside leg, opposite leg, lunges back, lift it up, lunge back. 40 seconds, squeeze those glutes, squeeze. Maybe you can let go. Maybe it's just here, that's fine, right? Squeeze. 10 seconds. Rest. Woo. Grab one weight in that same outside arm, right? The same one that you had the leg back from before. I want that arm still, still in your chair, leaning into it. Reach toward the floor, but shrug your shoulder back. Three, two, and go. Row. Row. Elbow goes straight back to your rib cage. Like you're starting your lawnmower, pull, control, explode, control. 20 seconds. Five more seconds. Rest, Woo, put it down, nice job. And now we flip it around and do the other side. So, moving that chair or maybe just walking your body around. Opposite hands on the chair. So the leg that you did not work last time, that's gonna step back and squeeze up. In three, two, one. Lunge, glute squeeze, lunge, glute squeeze, right? Could be right here. Could be all the way back here. Or somewhere in between. Fifteen seconds, right? Nope, nope, nope. Yeah, fifteen, so ten seconds. Rest, Whew. that outside arm picks up the weight. Inside hand still on the chair. We're gonna lean into the chair, right? I want you to lean into it, supporting yourself on that arm. Reach that hand down low, roll your shoulder back and row. Start the mower, explode. Control on the way down. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. job. All right, round two of this. You have the option to put that weight back in your outside hand for the lower body, right? It just makes your body weigh a little more, right? Doesn't do much for the back leg, but there's a little bit more for the front leg. Fingertips on the chair. If you want the weight, roll your shoulders back in three, two, one. Outside leg, lunge, lift lunge, lift. Whew. Pushing through that front heel. Ten seconds. Rest, step it in, shake out that front leg. 
Same arm, got the weight. If you're using it, if you were using it, hand on your chair. Hinge at the hip, lean over just a little. Knees are soft. We're gonna reach that arm to the floor, roll your shoulder back. Three, two, and row. Start that mower, really pull and control on the way down. Ten seconds. Rest. Whew, shake it out. Uh, same two on the other side. Weight moves over the other side if you're using it. Outside leg, outside arm in three, two, lunge back, glute squeeze, and lunge. Squeeze. Now you're getting a little bit of work back here on this back leg, but a lot of the work in the front leg. Pushing through that heel. Five seconds. Rest. Ah, same arm, shake your back out just a little bit. Place the opposite hand in the back of your chair. Reach down, shoulder rolls back, and row. Pull. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Rest. Whew, put it down. Shake it out. Grab a drink. Let's take a quick drink before we do the third and final round of this exercise. So we're going to do that same thing one more time, the lunge, glute, squeeze, lunge, and the row. All right, take a deep breath in, exhale down, one weight if you want it, in the outside arm, the one that's, the leg that's moving, in five seconds. And go, lunge, squeeze, lunge, squeeze. Pushing through that heel of the front leg. Whew, 20 seconds. Ten seconds. Rest. Woo. Same, keep that weight in that outside arm. Hand on your chair, lean into it. Hinge at the hip, those knees are soft. We're gonna reach as far as we can down, but take your shoulder and roll it back. Three, two, one, row. Fifth. 
15 seconds. Rest. Woo. Other side. All right. Fingertips on the chair if you want to. Five more seconds. We're going to lunge and squeeze with that outside leg. Three, two, and go. Lift. So after these two rounds, we've still got one more. We will have worked out for like 25 minutes, right? If you have a short time frame, you can just knock out something like this. Or you could do one round of all three of them. You don't need to have 45 minutes. You can knock out a couple, say, 10 push-ups, 10 squats, 10 push-ups, 10 squats. Do it for five minutes. Three, two, rest. Woo. Hands on the chair, hinging at the hip. Remember, we have to reach as far as we can with that arm, but then pull your shoulder back, and that's where it stays. Three, two, one. Row. Abs are tight. And then open it up, push your chest forward. And drop it down, shake it out, big breath. And exhale. All right, grab yourself a drink of water. We're gonna take a few seconds before we go down. We never wanna go down to the floor if our heart rate's still going, going. So grab a drink, maybe a few more deep breaths in. And then we're going to come down to the floor. I want at least one of your weights with you. Maybe both. All right, let me just move this up a tiny bit. How's that? All right. Whew. Coming down to the floor. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't, don't lay down yet. Don't lay down yet. We've got two exercises here, same sort of thing. 40 seconds on. Actually, I'm lying. We're gonna do uh, we're gonna do it different. We're gonna do 10 push-ups. Then we're gonna do um, so let's start with our in our push-up position. 10 push-ups, then we're gonna do weighted bridges for 40 seconds, then 10 push-ups. We're not doing 40 seconds of push-ups. So let's take our push-ups. Um, Let's go in here with our hands and knees, shoulders right below, above your wrists, hips right over your knees. Now this will be the, a regular push-up. Let's just not, I want to say easiest, the less stressful, least stressful. We're going to start with a little bit harder of a push-up. I want you to walk your hands forward a little bit and then push your chest forward. So see how now my hands are over my, my shoulders are over my wrists out here, but my knees are back there. I'm going to do a push-up right here, and then press up. Again, push up here, and press up. If that's a lot, walk your hands back a tiny bit. The further back your hands are, the more body weight is in your legs, and less body weight in your hands. I think that's five, six, seven, eight, two more, one more, and then sit your hips back and stretch your arms. Push your chest down through towards your knees. 
and come up. All right, kick it around onto your back. We're gonna do some weighted bridges now, going back to the lower body. I'm gonna take one weight, you don't have to. I'm gonna put one weight across my hips. So the only thing my hands are gonna do is make a barricade so that when I come up, my weight doesn't roll down towards my chin. It's just gonna hold here. I'm not holding the weight, I'm just making sure it doesn't move. All right, press in and down. Push through your heels and down. Press, maybe almost all the way. Push, just a little bit of space between your hips and the floor. Twenty seconds. Last ten. Hold it up for three, two, one. Take it down. Great job. Push that weight off to the side. If you're using it, you do not have to. And let's flip it around and do another set of push-ups. Keeping in mind, we've done already a ton of arm work. We've already done one full set of push-ups. Where do you want your hands, right? You want them, or where do you want your knees, I guess that should be. You want them in closer to you or out further from you. You decide. But let's do 10 push-ups right here. Down and up. As long as you have body weight in your upper body, you are getting a benefit of that push-up. Push-ups are building bone mass in your upper body, strong bones and muscle. I've got one more. And then sit your hips back and stretch, push your chest towards your knees. And come on up, flip it over for another set of bridges. I'm going to use my weight again. That's up to you. Placing it across my hips. There's also an option to put one weight on each hip. Just make sure that they don't roll towards you. And go. Push. Push. Maybe pull your toes up off the floor. Try to keep those hips just above. Don't dump your weight down into the floor. Push. Push. 10 seconds. Hold it up for three. Two, one, and lower down. Weight goes off to the side. Whew. Can we do one more set of each? Flip it around for push-ups. Walk those knees in if you need to, but make sure your body weight's in your arms. We've still got 10 seconds rest. In three, two, ten push ups. Woo! Push your hips back, stretch those arms, chest pushes down towards your knees. Come on the hands and knees and around your back, drop your head. And flip it over for one more set of bridges. All right, that weight, if you're using it across the, your hips or one on each hip, and go, push. 
Maybe your heels are down, toes are up. Maybe your hips aren't coming all the way down. Almost, but then they push back up. Almost, push. Squeeze your glutes, press in through your heels, dig into those hamstrings. Ten more seconds. Hold it up here for three, two, one, all the way down. Take that weight off to the side. So good. Uh, hug your knees in. Just rock side to side. Come center. Lift your head and shoulders up. Nose to knees. And bring it down. Whew. Circle your ankles around. Still having those legs in, stretching through your hamstrings. Other direction. And flex. And point. And then bring them down to the floor. Let's just windshield wiper those knees side to side. We're going to move into a little bit of core. All right, bring your legs up so that they're up at tabletop. Now, if we just bring our knees over our hips and our feet out there at 90, if we're just laying right here, we're working our core. You don't even have to move and it's working, but we are, we're gonna move. Let's flex our feet. Keep that bend exactly the same in your knee. So you're not gonna bend your knee anymore. You're just gonna lower from the hip and lift. Lower from the hip and lift. Alternate it. That's it. Alternate down and up. Give me four, three, two, one. Bring both down to the floor. Ah, shake those hips side to side. Take a deep breath, hands come out to the side. Exhale, bring them back behind your ears. Elbows are out wide. You wanna make sure that your elbows are outside your peripheral vision. So you can't see them, you don't wanna crunch them in here, keep them wide. Inhale on the floor, exhale to crunch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Hold it up right here, pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Whew. Hands down to your side, palms to the floor. Couple of big breaths in here. And let's bring our legs back to tabletop. Those knees at 90. I want you to take your right leg and straighten it and then bring it back to 90. Left leg and straighten, bring it back to 90. Right leg and left. All right, we're gonna combine the last two things. So right leg straightens, left drops to the floor. Come back in tabletop. Left leg straightens, right drops to the floor. Tabletop. So good. Four, a little brain piece here too, right? Three, love it, love it. Two, and one. Hug knees in, ha, ah, rock side to side. Drop your feet, shake your hips side to side. Let's play with those arms a little bit. Play with that, our body weight a little bit. Remember we've talked about 
When you lift something up, the closer it is to the midline of your body, your center of gravity, the easier it is to lift. When you start lifting things out wide, they get a little heavier. Even your body, your arms don't seem to weigh as much here as they do out here. So we're going to crunch up, hands to our side, crunch up, reaching towards our heels. Shoulders roll back and down nice and tight. Hold them in. All right, not so bad. Reach up towards your knees. Arms are a little bit heavier here. Core might be working a little bit harder. Reach up over your head, stretch to the ceiling, stretch to the ceiling. And now take it back behind you. All of a sudden they weigh so much more. Circle it around down and lower all the way back down. Hips shake side to side. All right, we're gonna do something similar again. I want you to really concentrate on your core. Concentrate on where it seems to be tightening up, where things seem to be um, shifting so that you're stable. Crunch up and reach towards your heels, both arms right here. I want you just to take the right arm to the ceiling. Take the right arm back behind your head. Swoop it wide. Now the left arm up to the ceiling. Take it back behind your head. Swoop it wide. Now both to the ceiling, hold here. Right arm only over your head. Bring it back. Left arm only over your head. Bring it back. Lower everything back down to the floor. And then just shake, shake those knees side to side. So good. Whew. Core stability, so important. All right, let's take our knees and drop them to the right. Open your left arm out to the side and look at it. If you can, if it feels okay, that top leg, straighten it out just a little bit. When you straighten it out, right, it's longer, it's further away from your body, it weighs more, it's gonna, it's gonna drag you deeper into your twist. If it's too much, bend that knee back a little. And then bring your knee back all the way up into the center. Shake it side to side. Let's drop our knees to the left and open your arm to the right. Turn and look at it. We're going to do the same thing over here. If it feels okay, open that top leg out again a little bit more. That longer lever is heavier. It's going to pull you deeper, but you want to keep your shoulder back. You don't want to make it pull you up. Loosening all through your lower back. And come back into the center. Shake it out. That's a really great stretch to do a lot if you've got tightness in your lower back. If when we just did this, one side dropped to here and the other side was here, right? The side that's not dropping as far, sit in that for a while. Just stay there and loosen up through your lower back. You don't want that back to be too off in its flexibility. All right, head and shoulders come up, dig your elbows in, walk your elbows back, and push yourself all the way up to seated. Let's take an easy seated stance, shoulders roll back and down. Drop one hand to the side, the other one comes up and over, and reach. And back down, and the other one up and over. Lean back into your hands, open those legs up. So they're out wider, a little bit wider than your, shoulder, your hips and shoulders. Push your chest forward. Inhale, come all the way back up. And then exhale, push forward. One more time, inhale up. And exhale, push, 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 push. And come all the way back. Slide those legs in, shake them out. Take one more big breath up and in. And exhale all the way down. Woo! Excellent job. 
love it. Thank you for, thank you for doing that before you. Uh oh.